We just landed in Iceland. It's 4.30 in the morning and it is dark, dark, dark outside. Um, got a couple of hours to burn after we get our rental car and everything like that before we head to the Blue Lagoon. Maybe catch a Viking Museum this morning. We are heading into Blue Lagoon now. It is, the sun is just starting to come up. It's about 10 o'clock. We can just see the sky getting light now. Just finished at Blue Lagoon. Beautiful and warm. And I'm so glad that we were able to go today. It was a good thing to do on our day with jet lag. I have found it, my first yarn store of the trip. It is the Hand Knitting Association of Iceland. Let's go in. Okay, so our, our back seat, we ha are suffering pretty severely from jet lag back there. Uh, we have finally made it to the town that we're going to be staying in with the Airbnb. And so I have just sent Brian in to Domino's to get some pizzas for us so that we can go home, wake the kids up, feed them some pizza, hopefully put them back to bed it's like 3 30 so maybe watch a movie and play some games and get them and hopefully get them back to bed around eight or nine and then tomorrow we don't have anywhere to be until the sun comes up which is like 11. so we've got some time in the morning to lounge around and kind of get going and kind of help with our jet lag all right we're finally in bed for the night we wrapped up the night by coming home and kind of relaxing and hanging out and we <laughs> headed out and sat out in the 
hot tub for a little while to kind of watch for northern lights. It was way too cloudy and we knew we wouldn't see anything, but the kids really wanted to go out and try. And so I've just come in and we're heading to bed now and hopefully we'll get a good night's sleep and wake up late in the morning, but I'm not counting on it.